heading out with Arvo, the adventure dog. Um, we're going out to Long Scraggy Peak today, five miles out, five miles back, 1,200 feet of elevation change, which is pretty much entirely at the end. Well, we're following the service road that uh, is closed to the public, but we're just going to kind of hoof it out there. That was pretty flat, kind of like that Colorado Trail Road that we were on. It's getting to be summer. We're still at the the end of May. And it's a little bit a little bit cold and windy today this morning. But the sun is out, so it should warm up warm up pretty soon. Uh, everything's starting to get really green and colorful before the summer's gonna hit. And it'll turn to the reds and browns. Oh, the greens are all everything's starting to bud out, the aspens, the willows and all of those kinds of trees and plants and even all the firs and pines are are starting to get even more green so it is it's pretty out here today i've got some new gear i'm picking on this one i got a new pack to to uh bring my camera and and drone and stuff i got a new camera too it's a little bit heavier and i don't use a bladder anymore in this pack i have two uh like one liter bottles of, of water on the sides and a little tripod so um but if it's pretty nice feels comfortable on my back but it is a little bit heavier so even though it's pretty nice and sunny kind of cold and windy so the wind is taking away quite a bit of the sounds Arvo. Scraggy Peak is right out there. You can see why it gets its name. It's got a long ridge on it, fairly long anyway, and it's pretty scraggy looking up there. Still see Pike's Peak off in the distance. Lots of snow still on her. Had a big old tree get uprooted. See, it fell across the came out from here and probably rolled down a little bit. I don't think anyone picked that big guy up, but there's a few that a few branches over here. So I'm guessing it rolled down the hill some here where it came became uprooted. Got a lot of wind lately. I'm sure that's what brought it down. We are on a service road, so maybe they did drag that Three out with, with this truck thing, big old tractor. Come on, Arva, we're not going for riding that thing. So when I was researching this trail, 
Um, it looked like the trail went off to the one side of Long Scraggy Peak and then went all the way up this ridge to get to the top. So I think that's the path we're going to be taking. So it goes down from all the way along there, back off in the distance, off along, and then we start to climb up the peak that way. My main trail goes that way, but we're going to go up over this way to get over to the top up there and get some good views. We are just about there. Well, I'm not gonna lie, that that was pretty tough. I'm almost, we're almost up to the top here, but there was some pretty steep stuff. And I don't know if it's because I have a little bit more extra weight from this pack, or maybe because, maybe if I had the flu or something, but I feel pretty beat, so. But we are almost there, just a little bit more. I can see this guy up here. And that's why we do it. Beautiful views. Way out there across the way, there's a little rock that kind of looks like, like a sea lion or something that's just posing on top of the mountain. quick view of the trail. It's pretty steep. This is probably the steepest I've ever been on. Uh, it's rocky and loose. Kind of tough to go down, so I'm recording my uh, GPS, so we'll see what the what the elevation change is over, uh, over the distance that we've gone through. So I'd say pretty good. I wonder why I was tired on the way up. camera probably doesn't do it justice but I set my phone down with a bubble level on it and it said this section here let's zoom back and I'm level here you can't even see this guy <laughs> so but the bubble level said it was a 20 degree incline well yeah seems about 20 25 or so just depending on where I put that level but it is certainly steep one 20 degrees going down there we go that's level looking down the trail and i'm tilting this down about 20 degrees just to see that in the middle so 
it's super steep. We're back down on the road now. Uh, so that was, that was really steep. I was showing like 20 degree angle that, that uh, one spot that I checked. So I checked my GPS and it was a 900 foot descent and that would have been over 0.9 miles. That's probably the steepest I've ever been on. We're on the way back, almost back to the truck. And then off to the right is this view. Um, didn't see it on the way in, but that's what's cool about out and back is you get to see different views on the way back out. So on the right hand side is Ratty Peak. In the middle is Chair Rocks. And off to the left, hard to see, is Cathedral Spires. There's Chair Rocks. Off to the right, Riley Peak. Way off to the left, past Chair Rocks, Cathedral Spires. Well, we are coming up to the end of our journey here today. So 10 miles total, five miles out, five miles back, 1,200 feet of elevation change each way. Some great videos and great pictures, good times. Beautiful out here. Like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more adventures. Did it, Harvard. Good job. Hi, Pa. Hi, Pa. Good Pa. Good boy. Well, here we are at, back at the road, and there's our truck. Let's go home. <laughs>